Meredith Connolly, I am so overjoyed about these snails. They're so fun at night. Tell people what, how you came to this? How did this happen? The concept itself has been about three years in the making. I've explored a variety of materials. Um, I've had a lot of what we would call failures to get me to this point to identify a process that I think aligns well with the forms themselves. What people don't realize is that snails are really geometrically perfect in nature. Oh. So they actually have this, what they call the golden mean, it's this really sacred geometry about them that's basically perfect. So in terms of sculpting, it's really challenging to, to replicate that. Um, and Not so once, but... Thir yeah, 311 <laughs> times, <laughs> which is how many snails are on view. Uh, so we arrived at 3D printing, and that was a really interesting process um, where we actually identified a snail specimen. So I got an oh. actual muffin snail, which I did not know what those were until I found one. The snail shells are like this big. Um, so about two inches or so. And from there, we use something called photogrammetry. So what you do is you put the snail on a pedestal and you use a camera and software and it takes thousands and thousands of pictures around the snail. So, cool. um, so I partnered with Making Things Charlotte mm -hmm. and they are a local 3D printing company and really helped with that piece of the puzzle. Uh, and from there, we used that basically image cloud to further model and make creative decisions digitally in order to print the forms. How long did that take? <laughs> So it was three week, three almost four weeks around the clock just for the printing. So the large snails, which are about 12 inches, those took between 30 to 32 hours per snail. Oh my gosh! This this kind of project is a perfect pairing for something like 3D printing, where making one might have been, you know, totally feasible, aesthetically pleasing, but doing it 300 times is not necessarily. And so in a similar sense, yeah, I mean we put a lot of revisions and back and forth into finding the final design based on the original photogrammetry scan and um, and then needing to change that form and tweak it such that it would print correctly without any kind of serious interventions or wasted material um, and then also look right. Um, thankfully, the orientation that Meredith wanted it in actually was very printable with some minor tweaks. So this is a thermoplastic, it's called PETG. So it's a filament. So think of like a, a spool of fishy li fishing line, but the fishing line is much thicker. That feeds through the nozzle on the printer and it moves in circles and up and down. And so basically the software communicates with the printer in order to basically lay the path wow. for the way the form will play out. Now we just, it's machine time. You know, robot army comes to life and it's hammering them out. And yes, it took 20 days and 2,600 print hours over eight machines and my office was 80 degrees most days when the sun was out, but it's totally worth it. And uh, I just don't know how you do this any other way. As an artist, I'm inspired by science, nature, and technology. So that's a huge foundational piece of any work that I create. So having that opportunity to engage a new technological process that I hadn't used before was really, really exciting. And it made sense for this particular project. Now this is completely, you know, another level. I haven't installed 300 forms consecutively before. Um, so Prior to really, this, yes, yes. Have. I mean, I've done, I've done, you know, hundreds of forms, but they were separate installations. So for one installation, this is the largest illuminated installation and in number of lights that I've done, and it just requires math, which I think is it's fun to talk to, especially kids. It's like, yes, there's science, yes, there's math and art. So calculating amperage, amperage, uh, which is the amount of power that's going to be pulled from the sculpture, wiring and, and kind of daisy chaining those using a 12 volt. Uh, system. That's all something that I, I did for this, which is really fun. Oh my gosh, it's not a labor of love. Yes.